Welcome back guys, Elwood here from Not So Serious Gaming. Better jump in and take a look at the full Easter egg guide for Die Machine. Super hyped to do this, so let's jump into it. First of all, you're going to need the power activated. I've got a quick little guide here just showing you how to activate the power. If you'd like a more in-depth guide, I can show you that. This guide isn't going to show you how to do the um, Wonder Weapon upgrades because I've already made a video on that. So if you'd like to view that, please check the description up here. But for now, you want to go and collect the pack a punch. This can spawn in two different areas. I have showed you one right here at the crash site, and the other one's just down by Crit Revive. Now go back and build the pack a punch. You will need the new Wonder Weapon to complete the Easter egg. But the very first main step is to collect the Ether Scope. So here we go. First of all, you need to jump into a dark ether portal. This can spawn in various locations. The ether scope has three locations. One of them is at the crash site on the plane here. Collecting these will also spawn in a lot of dogs to come in and ruin your day. Be warned, these spawn in in no particular order. Another location is in the main power room next to the ether tunnel on the way to the med bay. The final location is in the spawn area underneath the archway by the stairs here. I'd strongly recommend that you had a tier 3 weapon for doing all these steps so far and that you kill all the dogs between collecting each item as it can build up and become quite a nightmare. If you want a quick easy guide to get a free item please check this one out at the top here. Now bring the three parts to the workbench behind the pack of punch and craft yourself the etherscope. This reminds me of Pokemon. I digress. Now you want to head over to the med bay as another dark ether portal will appear there. You want to now activate this, or enter it shall I say, and uh, wait in this little room here. Now you're in the dark ether, collect the diary off the left hand side of the table and you want to find three ghosts that are dotted around the map. The very first one is in the med bay. You need to go up to the little orb, activate it and then give him the diary. Doing this step will cause another big guy to spawn in and try and mess your day up. The second location, and yes they must be done in this order, for the ghost is in the trial room as you can see on the right hand side right here. You'll need to activate the orb and hand him the diary once again. The third and final location is just next to the workbench. Repeat the steps like you did before. You don't need to stay with the ghosts during this stage, so you can actually get them all done in the same dark ether trick. Return to the med bay and put the password into the computer here. You will know you've done it correctly when you see the chamber turn blue. For the next step you would need to have crafted each element for the die shockwave. To do this I have a guide, um, I'll post a link to it up in the top right now and there'll be a link to it in the description down the bottom. But once you've got all of these you will need to come and shoot each corner. Once you have shot each corner of this with each element, a new dark ether portal will now appear outside the med bay. Once you activate this, you'll go back into the dark ether again and there'll be an orb to activate in the top of med bay. The zombies shouldn't attack you if you don't leave this area, but the big guy will still spawn in and dogs will also ruin your day if they're about as well. So be careful about that guys. Once you dealt with these guys having their little chin wag, they will drop a wrench on the floor. You want to come and grab this wrench, take it up to the spawn area and beat against the tank three times, as you can see I'm about to do here. One a two and a three. This will cause a zombie to pop out the top, just simply kill him and then you want to get some Semtex and grenade the hatch on the top of the tank. You can easily get, uh, you can easily craft Semtex at any crafting table for 250 scrap. Once you've done this, you grenade the top and the tank will then shoot a tree in the crash site area. The tank has shot a decontaminate agent that you need to pick up. Before you even leave Nux, the dogs will start spawning in, so I'd strongly recommend you kill the, all the dogs, clear the area before you pick it up and take it back to the med bay where you need to return it. Once you've done this, all you need to do is go get a Megaton, or a big guy, and bring him down here. Um, I would strongly recommend bringing him down into the med bay before you split him, as you need to split him and get both halves into the contaminating chamber. This can be quite tricky, especially doing it solo, so I strongly recommend having a strong gun for this. Once you've done this, head back up to the computer, press your action button on it and you'll fuse it back together. I would advise you to be strongly prepared for this bit as you're about to get swarmed. So I would immediately run up to a big open space, I prefer the crash site, so you can thin down the horde. Now you're ready to activate the last anomaly what will only appear in nuts. This will spawn in your very last ghost. I would advise now to go get any upgrades or anything that you need because you're ready for the boss. Personally, if you're going solo and you lose your crit revive, you can smash open some purple crystal and pray you get another one. And if you're really lucky, you can also get a ray gun doing this. 
Now you're all prepared with armor, pack punch, and all your perks, it's time to go back into Nuct and get the picture of his family, and you're gonna be teleported straight into the boss battle. Woohoo, you're almost there. He will stand around and talk by the pack punch machine for a moment or so, and then he will go off to three different locations that you'll have to defend him in. This can get very manic as everything's gonna spawn in from boss zombies, to dogs, to normal zombies, to armored zombies, you name it, it's there. I would strongly recommend having a wonder weapon, the ray gun works really well for it as you can shoot across the map and also any elemental wonder weapon works really well, I prefer the electric over anything but anything with range does work very well. Um, I would also recommend having adrenaline with you as you never know when you need it as um, as soon as I drop to half health I will pop an adrenaline just to make sure I can stay alive. Once you've defended them enough, the screen will go white and you'll get some dialogue. I personally would stand by the door over here getting ready to get out and escape. Once it opens, run, run as fast as you can. It's very awkward this bit as you can get down quite easily. I would advise using Ether Shroud as it saved me and the one thing I do want to warn, I believe the fully upgraded Ether Shroud made me lose my ammo here, what almost cost me this victory. Luckily, I realised and I managed to get the hell out of there. Just. Just. About. I really hope you all like my easter egg guide and it helped you out and hopefully you can now complete it yourselves. If any of you do need help, I'm going to leave my email address down in the description. You can email me and I'll send you over my gamer tag and we'll go from there. Peace!